The truth is that most coaches, freelancers, and agency owners, and service providers in general are focusing on the wrong things. Basically, everybody's just thinking that, hey, I can go out on the market, I can sell this service that I don't know anything about or that I researched for one week, and then I'm going to figure out the service delivery part later on. And this is actually not your fault that you are not getting clients because you have been fed this false idea and this lie by some of the biggest gurus in the agency or make money online as a service provider space that you can just learn how to sell you can just sell your service or you'll figure out how to do the service delivery later you, you can just outsource it to someone for five dollars an hour and they are going to get you the results and it doesn't matter what the service is it doesn't work like this anymore right maybe you used to get away with this like a few years ago where there wasn't a big enough supply on the marketplace and there was a huge demand for digital marketing but nowadays with more and more people wanting to become freelancers you know agency owners or like co coaches consultants there is much more competition and you simply cannot get away by not knowing your service that you are selling and by not having an amazing product or service to sell in my opinion you need to be able to actually show previous work to clients if you want to sign high ticket clients nowadays because simply people have been burnt by so many of these wannabe agency owners and freelancers who actually don't know anything about how to deliver the service that they are claiming to be an expert at. And again, I don't mean to be harsh, but this is the ugly truth. Basically, if you are an agency owner and a freelancer and you are selling a service that you don't know how to do from beginning to end and you are not really good at it, then you're technically scamming people. And you know, it might not be coming from a bad place because I certainly been there where I was like trying to monetize my skills and I wasn't the best at it yet. But right, like if you have no idea how to do it, then it's, it's very like ethically wrong and you probably feel it inside. And it's also stopping you from being able to sell at the capacity and at the level that you need to be selling at if you want to reach your goals. I personally get around five to 10 messages every single day from people trying to sell me short form content services, video editing services, YouTube management, uh, just in general, like social media growth. And the thing is, most of them don't even include examples of clients they work with or just in general, like previous work that they are done so I can see what they are actually capable of and what kind of quality work they can deliver. Since the supply is catching up with the demand on the market slowly, you cannot get away with this anymore. I'm not going to respond to you and business owners are not gonna respond to you if all you send over is, hey, you mind if I send over this quick, you know, uh, freebie that I made for you? What? Because like, it's so clear that it's a copy pasted message. It's clear that you didn't put any effort into it or you didn't even look at my profile before sending me your, your outreach message. And you can just see that it's low effort. The person doesn't have a clue what they are talking about. And I'm not gonna respond to you. I'm getting 10 of these a day, right? The only way to stand out in my opinion in 2023 and also beyond, and matter of fact forever, is by having the best service out there. If you're editing, is so good, if your thumbnails are so good, that they stand out from the competition of other people. I'm not gonna be able to not notice your message when I open it and you show me some examples of incredible quality work. You need to create a service or a program that you are proud of and you need to work on improving it every single day. This is the best way to go in this day and age. I personally realized this last year where I was helping a lot of people and a lot of creative people to get clients and to make money from their passions, right? Where it was like video editing, uh, thumbnails or anything like that. I helped a lot of people get clients, but some of them were really struggling with the service delivery part. So I realized myself that I also need to pivot and shift my own program that I'm selling, right? And also teach people how to do that part, how to exactly do the YouTube process, how to exactly create like engaging magnetic content that is, you know, so good that it stands out from the crowd, how to create thumbnails that are so good that they stand out from the crowd and they actually get your client's success. I used to spend a few weeks on putting together a product or service and then spend the rest of the time trying to market that. Now, this is completely backwards because if you are doing it this way, you are not going to have the level of conviction that you need in the product. You know that it's not necessarily going to help everyone. So it's going to, again, like give you this mental block and give you a lot of imposter syndrome. Nowadays, what I do is basically the exact opposite, where I spend most of my days on developing this program that I'm selling, right? And this product that I sell. And basically I block out like no matter what, two hours every day to just learn new things, to improve on what I'm selling and to make it better and better for the customers. Because at the end of the day, 
it's going to be so much easier for me to sell first of all because i'm going to get more referrals and like people are going to tell other people about it as well because it's so good and also i can sell much more freely because i actually know that what i'm selling is incredible so here is why selling your products and getting clients becomes much easier when you focus on improving your service instead of just focusing on selling and doing outreach. Number one, and this is the biggest thing is you will have confidence in the offer that you are selling and conviction in it because well, you put in the actual hours and the work to create something that genuinely helps people and solves their problem. And this is a kind of energy that just rubs off on people and it simply cannot be replicated any other way than actually putting in the work to create something that you are Truly proud of and that genuinely works number two that inner little voice uh, that is telling you like hey what if they don't get results what if I'm just taking this person's money and it's not gonna be a good business for them that just completely goes away if what you are actually selling is something that you put your everything into right a lot of people struggle with this and they struggle with sales because they have this like inner block in their head that is like oh I don't want to charge this much for my service I can't justify charging this much because what if they don't get results well if you just focus on creating something that is actually really good and that works and that you know a hundred percent is worth it you're not gonna have this inner voice that is like stopping you from asking for the prices that you want to charge because you know it's worth it and you know it's gonna work out number three you can give ballsy guarantees because you know that what you sell works right for example, at my new program that I'm just launching pretty soon, I'm giving a 30 day, no questions asked money back guarantee. Basically, it means that people could sign up, you know, pay for the program. They could use it for 29 days, technically, if they wanted to get all the knowledge from it, get everything from it. And they could ask for a refund and I would have to give them their money back. No questions asked, just send back the funds, right? And this is something that I couldn't do if my pro product and program wasn't actually something that I knew worked. And there are so many people who are selling like different, you know, agency services, courses, programs, whatever. And they have the kind of refund guarantee that is like an action based refund guarantee, right? Like, first of all, you need to have done uh, 50 hours of work per day to be eligible for a refund. And like, you need to have done these 5,000 different tasks. So first of all, that's like one kind of way they trick people uh, into buying something also they have these like seven day refund policies right or 24 hour refund policies or or only if you watched five percent of the program's contents right it's crazy like most people genuinely don't care about the product and they don't put much effort into it and they just like try to trick people by having some sort of a you know gimmicky refund policy no like what i'm doing now with this new thing is straight up if you don't like what i have you know given you even four weeks in like you can just ask for your money back and i couldn't do that if i wasn't a hundred percent certain in my product and this can be applied to anyone who's selling any sort of like service online right if you are very confident in what you have uh, to sell then you can offer great guarantees which will make it easier for you to close clients so to sum everything up why can't you get clients well I think it's mainly because of two things. Either number one, which is the sad reality for most people, is that your service is just simply not that good. You simply aren't that good of a graphic designer, video editor, an SEO person, a copywriter, whatever it might be. So just focus on honing in your skill sets and rapidly improving on those by different you know, programs, courses, whatever, to improve on those. And also keep that in mind, like most of you guys who are saying like, oh, I, I can't I can't get any results. I'm trying as a freelancer. Like a lot of you guys have been doing it for one week, two weeks. And do you think it would be reasonable for you to be amazing and like a one percent person in that skill set if you've been doing it for one, two weeks? Well, maybe even like two, three months, right? Like it's unreasonable for you to be an amazing person at it in that short of a period of time. So also give yourself the time that you need to become excellent at whatever it is you're selling. Now, I'm not saying you should stop selling completely and not try to get clients, no, but also focus on making sure that whatever it is you're selling is also incredible and up to the quality that people are looking for in the marketplace, because there is always a spot for number one. But also there could be this other group of people, which is reason number two for some people that they are not getting clients. And that is that they are simply not showcasing their work. They might be 
incredible video editors, right? Or incredible graphic designers or copywriters, but they are not giving examples. They are just sending out outreach message that is very generic. It doesn't show any examples or like people they work with or anything like that. Or even just like, you know, if you made up your own case study or just made like an example website or example video for yourself, whatever. If you're not showcasing anything like that, you're not going to get replies or not going to get a lot of replies because people are getting so many messages. Business owners are getting so many of these messages that, you know, it's simply overwhelming. And if I open your message and I don't see like, all right, what, how does this guy's uh, work actually looks like? I'm not going to respond. It's just... I'm getting too many of these, right? You can't really expect a reply if you are not actually putting something in the message itself that would grab the person's attention. So I hope this video was insightful for you and I hope you got some value from this. If you did and if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel and also turn on the notification bell so you actually get notified when I upload. I only do once or twice a week, so you're not gonna get bombarded with a lot of videos. I only try to put out stuff that is actually valuable and helping you at either creating better content or getting more results and making more money as a magnetic creator. So hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.